Metro Detroit, like most older U.S. cities, has a combined sewer system, meaning that the same sewers that receive sanitary wastes from homes and businesses also collect storm runoff from streets and highways. During dry weather, the sewer system has more than enough capacity to contain all of the wastewater from the 79 communities served. Wastewater flows through a sewer to one of three interceptors, huge pipes that intercept wastewater that would otherwise flow into the river and directs it to the Water Resource Recovery Facility, or WRRF, for treatment. Since hundreds of sewers empty into each interceptor, flow from each sewer is controlled by a regulator. During heavy rains, the regulator limits the flow entering the interceptor and prevents it from exceeding its capacity. As the level of wastewater in the largest of our sewers rises, rather than discharging to the river, it overflows into a combined sewer overflow, or CSO, retention basin, or a companion CSO screening and disinfection facility. Now, when a storm first hits the area, it flushes most of the wastes through the system and to the WRRF. So by the time the level in the sewer begins overflowing to a CSO retention basin, the wastewater has been substantially diluted by storm runoff. But there are still some substances we don't want entering the river if and when the retention basin fills up completely. So the retention basins are designed to remove those substances. Heavy rains wash particles of dirt, sand, and gravel into the sewers, solids that settle to the floor of the retention basin by gravity. Paper, twigs, leaves, and other debris also enter the sewers during a storm. The retention basins are equipped with screens that capture these larger solids. The screenings are raked from the screens into roll-off boxes that are later hauled to a landfill for disposal. All wastewater contains pathogens, microorganisms that cause disease in humans and animals. So disinfectant is added to the wastewater in the basin to kill off the pathogens. When a storm is heavy enough, or lasts long enough, to completely fill the retention basin, it overflows to a channel that leads to the river. When the basin begins overflowing, the discharge is commonly referred to as Combined Sewer Overflow, or CSO. In accordance with our National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, or NPDES, permit, which is issued by the state of Michigan, we measure the volume of discharge for reporting purposes. This is accomplished by knowing the velocity of the flow and the level of the combined sewer overflow in the channel. Since the width of the channel is known, we can determine the flow or volume of combined sewer overflow to the river. We also collect samples of the CSO leaving the basin and analyze the types and amounts of pollutants being discharged. We also test for fecal coliform bacteria, microorganisms that indicate the presence of pathogens, to verify that we have sufficiently disinfected the water to meet the quality standards set by the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy, or EGLE. Once the storm passes and the levels in the sewer and interceptor return to normal, the stored CSO along with the solids that settled out in the basin, are pumped into the interceptor to flow to the Water Resource Recovery Facility for complete treatment. The Great Lakes Water Authority's CSO retention basins and their companion screening and disinfection facilities allow us to meet Eagle water quality standards intended to keep the river clean and its occupants happy.